Amazon just dropped some huge news that we've been waiting for for years. Alexa 2.0 is here and it's actually called Alexa Plus. It's a subscription based service which you can technically get for free and offers improved Alexa functionality bolstered by AI for more natural and intuitive smart home control. In case you missed it, here's all the biggest news from Amazon's Alexa event. If you've ever used Alexa, you'll know its abilities are pretty impressive for software that's now over a decade old. Sure, it's been updated over the years with some new features, but the grey matter has stayed the same. And in the age of AI experiences, Alexa feels dumber than ever. Alexa Plus brings Amazon Voice Assistant firmly into the 2020s, introducing the kinds of experiences offered on some of the best AI phones into your home. Powered by models from Anthropic, that's the maker of Claude and Amazon's own Nova, Alexa Plus has been trained on a variety of parameters from emotional intelligence to humor to understanding and can also remember personal information and context. That means more personalization, better communication and less friction with your smart devices. Alexa Plus will be rolling out in the US in the coming weeks, with Amazon explaining that homes with an Echo Show 8, 10, 15 or 21 will be among the first to gain access to the early version. There's no word on international release dates or pricing just yet, but based on similar situations like Apple's phase Apple Intelligence rollout, we're expecting a four to six month wait for other English speaking countries and markets where Alexa is particularly popular. An Alexa Plus subscription will set you back $19.99 a month, or it's free as part of a Prime membership. Now, you might be saying that's a bit of a strange price point, isn't it? And you'd be correct. If you didn't already know, an Amazon Prime membership costs $14.99 per month in the US, which is $5 cheaper than the Alexa Plus subscription, but with way more Prime perks. Don't worry if that all sounds like too much because the stand for Alexa will remain freely available on Echo devices if you don't want to upgrade, for now at least. Alexa Plus will be backwards compatible with most Echo devices from the last decade, but there are a few exceptions. The first generation Echo, Echo Dot, Plus, Tap, Show and Spot, as well as the second generation Echo Show, unfortunately won't be compatible with Alexa Plus. And we're not yet sure how that works in your household if you feature newer devices as well as those older ones. Otherwise, Alexa Plus will work with the Alexa app, compatible Fire TVs and Fire tablets, as well as the newly announced Alexa.com website. Unfortunately, Alexa Plus isn't available on devices that are branded with Alexa built in, like headphones and smartwatches. But Amazon said it's hoping to bring the assistant to more devices in the future. You might have noticed earlier I mentioned that households that already have an Echo Show 8, 10, 15 or 21 are set to gain access to Alexa Plus sooner. And there are some interesting ideas as to why this might be. During the demo session Tech Radar attended in New York City, almost all of the demonstrations took place on an Echo Show 21 and we think that's because Alexa Plus is transitioning away from the standard version's voice first approach. Many of the interactions you'll have with Alexa feature a screen or touch controls in some way. We saw Alexa being used to search for local pizza restaurants, find clips, from a ring camera of the dog leaving the house for a walk and even saw it with a cab through third-party services. But we don't yet know how that experience might look, or I guess sound, in a voice-only interaction. The real star of the Echo Show, however, is the slick new Alexa interface, featuring new and improved widgets, better content suggestions and way, way more customizability. If you're sick of having to repeat yourself and rephrase things over and over again until Alexa understands you, then Alexa Plus should be the remedy. According to Amazon, the service will be far better at identifying devices in and around your home, based not only on your speech patterns, but also your behaviors. Using that context, Alexa can move media playback to different rooms on command or respond to requests like play music on the left side of the house, but don't wake the kids. This also means less time spent head scratching as you try to set up half decent Alexa routines. You could even ask Alexa to run a routine just for two weeks while you go on holiday, something that right now she can't do, certainly not using only voice control. That alone is enough reason for me personally to consider leaping to Alexa Plus, but it also sounds like Amazon is entirely rethinking how it handles third-party skills as well, with Alexa taking on more of an agentic role in the home. Demo showed Alexa booking dinner reservations through OpenTable and ordering cabs on Uber, all with minimal interaction from the user. If it's Marvel's Jarvis you're trying to recreate, then good news. Alexa Plus can act as the family assistant come bestie you've been hoping for. Not only is the upgraded Alexa a lot more chatty and engaging than the standard version, but you can also share your private information like calendars and household documents with Alexa Plus to benefit from easier calendar management, if you trust Amazon with those documents. We saw Alexa recalling information from a homeowners association handbook when asked about solar panel installation, for example. But Amazon also says you can share emails, manuals, family recipes, study materials, 
materials and more. However, we don't know if there's any kind of sealing on that storage or where it's stored. It's not just the boring paperwork that Alexa can remember either. You can train Alexa on your preferences and interests. For example, if you're a big fan of Sabrina Carpenter, you can ask Alexa Plus to track news and tickets for her shows. The same goes for skills like daily news briefings, which can be tailored to your specific interests. So make sure to let it know you're into tech and you might get a few tech radar stories. Amazon's existing Kids Plus subscription offering is a family favourite, and it's getting its own Alexa Plus boost as part of the rollout. There are two new features. Stories with Alexa, which seems to just be a repackaging of the existing Create with Alexa skill, and Explore with Alexa, both of which are designed to entertain your younglings and spark their creativity. Basically, it's the same as before from what we can tell, but with more AI imagery now, which is pretty cool. Now, this only scrapes the surface of everything we learned at Amazon's Alexa Plus unveiling. So if you want the full rundown, make sure to head over to techradar.com to find out all the latest news about Amazon's new Alexa offering. Before you go though, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the Tech Radar channel. And thanks so much for watching.